first. This is First Alert Weather. Hey, I think the biggest story out of these storms were they were here for a short time, yeah. but super, super impactful. They they moved through quickly and they left a lot of damage. Yep. Now tomorrow's going to be a little more, um, let's say, sp spread out. These mm. are going to be more isolated thunderstorms moving across different parts of our entire area. And we have uh, the slight risk drawn for you there. It does include all of East Central Kansas, Northeast Kansas, all the way back to Central Kansas. And on the Missouri side, it's mostly just West Central Missouri up to extreme Northwest Missouri. Uh, so this is kind of like the area that's probably going to be more effective will be the Kansas side, but we're not going to rule out uh, some of these storms producing damaging hail, uh, large hail, and also damaging winds. Now the tornadic situation is very, very, very low. That's good news, but it's very important that we always keep an eye on the radar as we do all the time with storms like this, and we will let you know immediately if that uh, ever changes. Now, uh, when it comes to the thunderstorms tomorrow, the timeline is going to be here right after nine o'clock. They'll be coming in from the northwest direction out of southeast Nebraska. They'll be a little moving in a southeast direction and get a little more widespread over our area. And again, I've already mentioned the damage wind and large hail possibility. And the timeline again is going to carry into the uh, early evening hours. But Katie Horner is here first thing tomorrow morning. She's actually live on First News here at 5 a.m. They go from 5 to 9, and then she's going to stay here, watch the radar until I come in. So we've got you covered. Brian Busby and the rest are also on backup just in case we need extra help. Dew point at 67, relative humidity at 62%. Winds are very light. We're at 81 degrees. Pressure is rising right now. Our thermometer readings are on the comfortable side. Smithville at 75, Excelsior Springs are at 73, DeSoto, Kansas at 80, and Gardner, Kansas 78. Let's go a little farther out. Maryville's at 76, Trenton 73, and Garnett, Butler looking good at 75 and 76. It is quiet now. It will be quiet for the overnight, so rest with ease. Don't worry about any storms until after 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is 9 o'clock on Future Scan. Notice they come in from the northwest direction. They start moving in the southeast direction. We start to get the thunderstorms near the metro area around 12 noon. And as we get into about 1.32 o'clock, look how widespread these thunderstorms are. It's not that one line of a wall of thunderstorms like it was yesterday moving across from west to east. This is more sporadic. Everything's a little unsettled. It continues off and on, even through the early evening hours, and what's left over will not get out of here until right before midnight tomorrow night. To recap, for tomorrow, it's an impact day with a high of 89, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some could be strong to severe status. And on the nine-day forecast, Monday will be quiet with a high of 86. Another round of storms will come in on Tuesday with a high of 92. A quiet day on Wednesday, and guess what? More thunderstorms expected on Thursday, high of 91. But colder air moves in, all right, cooler air, drops us into the 80s for a high all the way through next weekend.